Okay, you want to create a basic timeline chart in Microsoft Excel. Let's see how this can be done. So here's the data for my chart. First column contains the months or whatever time period you're doing your timeline for. We then got the task description, We've got the date on which the task needs to start or end by. And also you've got this column for the line height. You'll see how this works as we go through this video. So your first step is to select the months or the time intervals, hold down control on your keyboard and then to select the line heights. Then go to the insert tab on your ribbon and in the charts group, you want to go up to the column and bar button and choose this basic 2D column. Now I'm just going to increase the width of the chart a little. And I'm going to go to this chart elements button and I don't want grid lines and I don't want the vertical axis. So I go to the sub menu for axes and then I untick primary vertical. I do want to show data labels. So I'm going to go to the sub menu for data labels and then more options. I'm going to untick value. I'm going to tick value from cells. For the moment, I'm just going to show the task description as a data label. Click on OK, and you can see that those labels now appear in your chart. OK, so the next thing to do is to select one of the columns within your chart, and you should see that it selects all of the columns. Then go up to the Format tab on your ribbon, go to Shape Fill, and choose No Fill. Then go back to your Chart Elements button, go to Error Bars, go to the sub menu for that, and then More Options. Direction needs to be minus. You need to have no cap and your percentage value has got to be 100%. Now select the horizontal axis, go to the Format tab, go to Shape Outline, change the color, whatever color you want. Also go back and change the weight. And if you like, you can show an arrow the end of the axis. We'll then select one of the error bars that should select all of them. And we'll also change the color of those error bars. So format tab on your ribbon, shape outline. I'll change the color to blue. If you want, you can always change the weight of those lines. Now, what I did in my chart is actually reposition these category labels so they appear beneath the chart. And to do that, we need to double click somewhere on the horizontal axis. You need to make sure you've got this button selected, Axis Options, Expand Labels, and Label Position Change to Low. You could also change the color of the text on the horizontal axis. Go up to the Format tab on your ribbon, Text Fill, and change the color. The chart title, I'm actually going to link to a cell on my spreadsheet. So I'll call this Project Proposal XYZ for argument's sake. What I'm going to do is select that chart title, go up to the formula bar, type equals, and then click in the cell with that title and press enter. Now, optionally, you could also include a date within your data labels. Now to do that, what you'll need to do is create an additional column that concatenates the task name with the date. And you want the task name and the date on separate lines. Now to do that, you say equals, then select the task description, ampersand, which is going to concatenate or join these values together. Then to create a separate line for the date, you can use the character function. And the character we want is 10. That's the line feed. And then we'll concatenate that with the date. Now, if I press enter, you won't see the line feed in this cell, but you will within the data label. But you can see that we've got another problem where what this formula has returned is the serial number behind this date. So we have to work a little bit harder here. What I'm going to do is use the text function. And what the text function allows me to do 
is to specify a numeric format for this value. And the format I want to use is dd slash mm slash yyy. And notice that's in speech marks. Now, if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see it now returns the date. And I'll copy this down. Now, you'll see wherever we don't have a task, we're getting this 0 of January 1900 date. And if you're worried by that, you could use an if statement. So the logical test would be, is there a date in this cell or is the cell not empty? If true, return this concatenation of the task description and the date. Otherwise, return an empty text string. So if I now copy that down, it gets rid of those strange dates. So now I need to change the source for these data labels. So if I double click on one of the data labels, that brings up the format data labels task pane and go to select range and then select this range of cells, click on OK. And you can see I get both the task description and the date as my data labels. Last thing I might do is just select the data labels and change the font color. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.